Hey Hero fans, this is Todd. So, I finally got the Super 7 Thundercats. Thunder, Thunder, Thundercats, ho! And I thought, you know what? Let's compare them to the Mattel's one. So, this first video, I'm going to go ahead and go for the Gusto and open up Lion-O. And we'll compare the new Super 7 Lion-O packaging with the Mattel Lion-O packaging. And we'll look at the actual Mattel Lion-O figure and the other parts it came with versus the um, Thundercats Super 7 lion -O. So let's go ahead and uh, get this open and take a look at it. So first of all, it tells us it's a Super 7 figure with accessories and may take a 12 small, small parts. Adult collectible, not a toy. I love they say that because now if my friends ask me or my wife gives me a hard time or anybody else, I can say, hey, it's not a toy. It's an adult collectible. So with that, let's go ahead and take a look at this Lion-O and see what he looks like. The ultimate Lion-O. Ooh, look at that. We got a shiny red. You can see that or not. Look, ooh, that is so cool. Uh, let's pull this out of the box. Oh, very nice packaging. And you can see already he comes with an extra head. There it is. Urr, angry lion -o. Normal lion -o. Constipated lion -o. And then uh, a couple different hands to choose from for uh, his uh, actual extra claw sheath that he uses on his left arm. So let's get him out of here. Oh, you know what? Before we open that one, let's do a comparison of the Mattel lion -O. Oh, it's just an empty box. No! I guess I already took him out of the box, but we can take a look at the packaging. That's funny. I thought I had a lion -O still sitting in there unopened. I do still have all the Thundercats still in open, though, in a box from Mattel that I'm planning on not opening. And I'm just going to open the Super 7 ones and save the Mattel ones for... Uh, Prosperity stake for the future. So you can see the difference is we have him looking at the sort of omens through the thing here And this is kind of a raised on the Mattel one and then uh, I opened the bottom so I could pull it out and then on the back they have a, a big old picture of lion and lots of color and the Fortress in the background and this one the super 7 one shows kind of a whole entire picture of all the different characters including the Mumra when he's transformed into the ever-living Mumra. All right. And they got two different bios on him. This one says, smart, fast, and skilled as a warrior. lion -O is the prince turned king of the Thundercats. A boy when they fled Th Thundera. Now he's a young adult and has the mind and temperament of a 12-year-old. So he has some maturing to do. His exclusive weapon, the Sword of Omens, gives him the power of sight beyond sight and makes him the dire enemy of the evil Mumra. And this one right here says, Lord of the Thundercats, lion -O, um, a cunning leader known for his great strength and agility, wields um, power with the magic airship of his forefathers. The sword, oh, that's pretty lengthy. This one sounds nice and cool. Anyway, let's go ahead and open this up. Let's look at the figure. If you guys want, you can pause the video and read it yourself. Sorry, I know you guys probably are waiting for me to read it out loud. The audiobook brought to you by Hebro. Thunder. Thunder. Thundercats. Alright, so this is two layers. It has a uh, an inner layer that has a cool book, which is always fun to get little books. And it does not open, it's just a solid piece, but it still looks really cool. So there we have the Thundercat lore book. I don't remember the storyline of the book, but it must be something, otherwise I wouldn't include it. And he has a bunch of extra hands. Tink, 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 there's all his hands. And let's go ahead and get to the figure himself. Let's pop out this extra head. That is pretty cool looking. 
I wish they would have used a different hair sculpt though on it, like his hair is blowing the other direction or something. And so you could stick this on your Mattel one. I'm not going to pop his head off because I don't think his head's supposed to be removable in the Mattel one without hot water, so we're not going to do any head swapping on him. Let's pull out the sword and compare swords. So similar, but yet different. It looks like size wise, yep. So let's see, here we have the Mattel one and the blade's actually bigger than the Super 7 one. So you can see the blade's actually bigger. So it's not the same molds and the way it's shaped on the bottom is also slightly different too. This one kind of wraps more around and this one is more flat. And then the actual symbol itself is actually clear on the Super 7 one. So interesting. You can see the Mattel one kind of has a slight indent right there. And the Super 7 one's nice and smooth. So the emblem in the Super 7 is actually better. I like the shape of the sword of the of the um, Mattel one better for the, the sheath. Not the sheath, but the, the handle and the guard. But I don't know about the blade. I haven't decided which blade I like better. Post in the comments, let me know you like the thicker blade or, or the thinner blade better. Well, I better put that back in his hand before I forget whose is whose. So now let's get him out of here. And he has no rubber bands holding him in. So let's just pop him out of here. All right. So here's some interesting things is normally when Super 7 figures come out, their pinholes are smaller than Mattel's, but these are the same size. Makes me almost wonder if they might have used the same factory or something. I'm not sure. At least the same molds or something. He has these gnarly hands in this one. They're very soft rubber too. And the coloring is slightly different. You can see it in their faces slightly. The chins are a little different. His is longer. His is a little more shallower. I'm not sure if the eyes are painted different too. Here's the Mattel one. And here's the Super 7 one. Mattel. Super 7. Their blues are very close in color. And this is actually more cartoony looking. And clearer. And this one is kind of just more like a symbol like you'd see on a car or something. So again, they did a better job on the emblem style, I think, but it feels very rubbery. And this one feels really smooth. They, they look like they use the same mold though. Even the, the spots where the mold breaks is in the same place. So they definitely use the same mold to make these. All right, so now let's do a breakdown of Super 7s. And let's see. So anchor articulation. It goes back and forth. It does rotate, but look at that. It has... Oh, it does have the same articulation there. I thought it might have been different. The knees on his, this is the Super 7 one, are not ratcheted. They're actually smooth. And uh, just like the Mattel one. So I'm guessing they use the same molds all the way around. Which scares you about the head. We'll see how easy it is to pull off if they changed it or not. Oh, the waist is tight. There we go. Ab crunch. Shoulder movement. Oh, the elbow does bend. Like I said, he's got some really rubbery hands. All right. The coloring just does look just looks a little different. I don't know. It's just kind of strange. It's almost like a muted version, just slightly. Um, I don't know if you can see it in the camera or not. Like this blue is just a little bit brighter than this blue, and the gray is a little crisper than this gray. It's kind of strange. All right, let's see how it's easy his head comes off. Oh, it does come off easy. You can see there's a slight split right here. So, and this peg does not move very easily and there is some damage around there too so the paint is thinner on the super 7 one it looks like Ugh. and there we go angry head angry lino 
All right, let's take a look at some other things he has. So in this one, in the newer Super 7 one, he's got the cool claw that's very similar. And then he has his secondary claw that's made to go on his side, like he has it strapped to the side. And you can see there are some slight differences here. This one has blue, this one has gray. But not a lot of differences. So I guess when you put this on there... Uh, well, that does not hook on there very easily. On the Mattel one, you can see this actually sticks out and actually has a spot for it to, to click into place. On the Super 7 one, it just it's not sticking out as far. Maybe I gotta push those shorts in more. We'll force it into place to see how it works. Huh. Uh. There we go. If you force it, it will work. Basically, you're shoving the shorts in tighter against him for it to work. There we go. Alright, and he has one more claw. A different style, but just one style. He doesn't have the one that goes on his leg, too. And this is more shiny. I'm guessing it's so it's more cartoon looking, I'm, su I'm supposing, guessing. And let's see how that fits. Ta-da! Of course you wouldn't have them both on. This does fall off very easily. So there you go. And he doesn't come with the short sword. I don't think. I didn't see that in there. Nope. No, no short sword. You only get the long sword. Let's swap out his hand so he can grasp his sword firmly. Grasp it firmly. Uh. You can do the sight beyond sight thing. Uh. Let's see if he can do that. Uh. Yeah, I suppose he kind of can. There we go. All right. So all in all, um, the Super Seven, not bad. It's got some, some better features when it comes to the paint apps on the sword hilt and the belt. Um, I would put a clear gloss on here, though, to, just to, to, to kind of clean it up and make sure it doesn't get scratched off. And uh, second head, cool. No second sword, though, for the, the little mini sword. That's kind of surprising. So you don't get the cool little mini sword like we got with uh, the, um, the other lion out. Yeah, I don't see it. I'll have to look online and see if they show it. If you guys know it's supposed to come with a second sword, let me know. This one does not pull out. so. And uh, this one does have some slight paint damage defects here and there. You can see like right here on the end of the sword, it's got a spot. Um, in his neck, it has that spot. But for a fill-in to have your Thundercats, I think this is a pretty good, pretty good way to go. If you didn't get the Mattel one. If I had to pick one though. And I had to choose only one to keep. I would keep the Mattel one. Sorry Super 7. You guys did a good job. It's a lot better than the He-Man figures. But I still prefer the Mattel one. A little better. I am going to keep his face on this one though. <laughs> Alright. So. I'll be opening other Super 7. Uh figures and comparing them to the Mattel figures as we continue on. This is the only one I have open though. I'm not going to open the other ones, but I will show you them the other ones in the box. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. I will see you guys next video. And don't forget this Saturday, we got our, our class and we're going to be making that 2000 X, uh, custom origins. He man in class this Saturday. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. See you next video. Like, subscribe, tell your friends. Bye now.